When the spies at CSIS first spotted attempts in 2021 by the government of China to target and intimidate conservative MP Michael Chong, CSIS put together a briefing of its findings and sent it to those who might be able to do something about it, including well, the then public safety minister Marco Mendicino. But a new report from the independent watchdog agency charged with oversight of CSIS says that CSIS does not track who actually reads their reports. And in fact, Mendicino would say two years later that he first learned about the Chong matter in media reports, not from CSIS. The watchdog agency, it's called the National Security and Intelligence Review Agency, or NSERA, said this is an unacceptable state of affairs and that the failure by CSIS to document who reads what results in unacceptable gaps in accountability. NSERA's review was sparked by reports Global News and the Globe and Mail did in 2022, tracing China's foreign interference efforts in Canada, reports based on CSIS sources. CSIS had summarized those efforts in a 2021 briefing for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. But neither Trudeau nor his inner circle ever saw that CSIS briefing because the PM's National Security and Intelligence Advisor blocked it, calling it a summary of routine political activity. If CSIS is investigating it, it has to be clandestine activities, not diplomacy. But the readers of the intelligence are thinking it's just diplomacy, and it's not impressing them enough to go to the Prime Minister. And that's discouraging. And Sira says that's a problem, that consumers of CSIS intelligence need better, quote, intelligence literacy. The people that should be reacting and acting on the intelligence don't share the same view of the people collecting the intelligence and packaging it up, then I think, think we have a problem. The government's response, well, it says it is already making many of the improvements and Sarah recommended. The current public safety minister, Dominic LeBlanc, says these days, everybody's reading everything. Farah. David Aiken in Ottawa, thank you.